I burnt my tongue. I used one of those automatic coffee dispensers and it filled it too much. It almost overflows. I was just gonna sip it off like you would the top of a cup that's a little bit overflowing. It's just a little, just a, you know, it was this cup right here. I was just gonna, I forgot, coffee's hot. And they didn't put any warning labels on here for people like me. Caution, hot. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking at all, so I burnt my tongue this morning. <laughs> That's how my day started. I'm here at uh, Olsen's truck stop, right where we went to sleep. And uh, here's Old Blue. There she is in all her glory. We're here in America and loving it. We're in Minnesota. I gotta go grab some freight right now, uh, down in Nicolette, Minnesota. And that freight's taking me up to Manitoba. I got two drops. First drop's in Brandon, Manitoba. The last drop is in Bozizer, and from there, uh, that'll be pretty close to home for me already. And we'll see if there's something short for me to do this weekend or if I just go home after that. But there's the empty step deck behind me. Let's go put something on it. Let's enjoy our time in this beautiful land. my windshield a uh, good old bull's not rocket spray treatment waiting for it to melt those bugs I'm gonna wipe it right off that's nice let's get out of here Turn right on CR8. Hour and a half to two hours north of Nicolette right now. This is uh, Clearwater, Minnesota. So I'm just going to turn right here and go straight south. I'm going to sort of cut through the countryside here. is called Gaylord, Minnesota. That is the name of this town. I've got to get around this corner here. Uh, I think I've got enough room. Whoa, whoa, there's a person in the crosswalk. Oh, there we go. See, everybody knows what they're doing here. Thank you. Oh, you don't need to back up. You're good. Thank you. Continue on this road for 32 kilometers. Look at all these American flags. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the 4th of July is coming up. By the time you watch this, what is today's Wednesday? You'll watch this. So tomorrow for you is the 4th of July, I believe, 2024. You guys got any big plans? You gonna see some fireworks? You gonna blow stuff up? Canada Day is on Monday, so it's North America week. Monday we celebrate Canada, Thursday we celebrate America. Not sure what we're gonna do. Our boy's a little uh, young to go out and see fireworks yet. We might probably go check it out. He's never seen them before, right? I don't know how he would react. If he'd be scared or what ends. He'd have to stay up quite a bit past his bedtime then too, so we might wait until next year to take him. But we shall see. Figure something out. I've got uh, about 15 minutes left down this road before we pick up our, uh, I think they're like floating boat docks or something that I'm picking up. I'm not too sure. I don't know anything. I'm just going this way. That's all I know. Had a little bit of time now, I could wipe down the aluminum, so I'm all ready for the road. A lot of Trump flags out here. Oh, you 
you see those everywhere. Everywhere you go until you get to the cities. But if you're on the city, you see those things flying everywhere. Launch ourselves onto what is this? US Highway 14 westbound. Taxi our way onto the runway. Dead. 
shops are all closed? Or, or are they? They look dark. This is Litchfield, Minnesota. What's going on, Litchfield? Where is everybody? It's 7 o'clock. They might be eating supper, I guess. Back at the interstate. A half hour down here will be Alexandria. Hopefully they will have a shower available for me. Uh, might have to wait a little bit. Whatever. Let's see when we get there. It's been two lane roads all day, so I'm welcoming the interstate. far but it's getting late and I decided to pull it in here in Drayton North Dakota we didn't get cleared to cross the border so I'm in no rush why is that guy flashing his lights at me what do you want use your radio bud you want to talk to me use your radio don't use like Morse code with your high beams. Let's see if there's some. Oh, yeah, there's a parking back here. Parking over here, parking over there. Oh, there's a nice parking spot right there. Oh, I'm gonna go around and take that one. Yep. Yep. I'll show you in a second, guys. Hold on. Come with me. We're gonna go through the pumps backwards and everyone's gonna be, what's going on? I know, I know. Let's confuse everybody here. It's the middle of the night, why not? Let's have some fun here. Trucker drivers going against the grain. Everybody thinks I'm gonna fuel up backwards. <laughs> gonna thread the needle here. I'll show you in a second where I'm going and why I did this. I'm gonna go and park to my left, right in here. out a little bit unlike this guy on the left here mr. David Jatt parked all crooked in his spot I will show him how to park straight not like he's gonna care he's gonna park even more crooked tomorrow night probably that's how they do it all right so I'm straight he's crooked Where I've got no direct neighbors right beside me. Should be a nice quiet night. These guys beside me can drive straight out of their spots, so I don't have to worry about them backing out beside me. I can drive out in the morning from here. I'm feeling pretty safe, pretty good about this spot. 
besides parking beside this uh, jet truck, which uh, is parked all crooked, so that makes me question his ability to get out of his parking spot straight. That's the thing. Like, you can judge a trucker by how he parks. Okay, you're not supposed to judge others, trucker Josh. You can judge people sometimes. It's okay. That's how you protect yourself and keep yourself from getting your hood ripped off. If you if you see someone in a parking lot and they're painted lines and you see them parking all crooked, taking up two spots or just like all crooked in one spot, you can tell that they were lazy. They just pulled in, psh, pulled the brakes, went to bed, didn't even bother getting out to see if they were straight. You know that they could, couldn't care less. Which puts them on my radar of concern. If you can't park your truck straight, I don't know if I want to park beside you, because then can you drive your truck straight out? Do you even know where your trailer is? Do you know that you're completely crooked? Do you just not care, or do you not know? Because if you don't know you're crooked, that means you don't know where your unit sits, and you don't know where your trailer is. Which means I don't want to park beside you, because then when you leave, if you don't know where your trailer is, you're going to drag it right over my truck. Chances are. Right? Am I, it's, maybe it's just me. Am I paranoid? Yes. Do I care? No. I don't care that I'm paranoid. It, it, it's better to be paranoid and not get your hood ripped off than to just trust everybody and park wherever you want. Everything is unicorns and rainbows. No. You gotta be careful out here. People are crazy. No, you're not careful where you park. You will get your hood ripped off. I have dash cameras and cameras all around my truck, so you rip my hood off. I will be coming after you. <laughs> you are going to get me a new hood. But, man, that's, that's a big hassle for me, right? It takes time out of my day. Now my truck is down until I get it fixed. Just lots of paperwork, plus all the effort of chasing you down. Might have to get lawyers involved. How about we just, just, just not rip off my hood? How about that? How about we just try that? It's a better option. Then you can go home, I can go home. And I don't have to get all angry at you and make a YouTube video about you. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm just babbling. Uh, I know this camera isn't the greatest in low light, so you can probably hardly see me anyways. I'm going to end it right here. Uh, we're going to be getting home very soon. We might be home tomorrow. <coughs> Doubtful, though. Because we're stopping pretty late, and now I have to stop for 10 hours because my load didn't get cleared. I was hoping my load would get cleared tonight so that I could cross into Canada. Then I only have to stop for 8 hours before starting my day tomorrow. But since we're here in the U.S., unless I split my sleeper berth, I did get the 2 hours off during the day, so I could split my sleeper berth. That might still work, actually. I was thinking I might have to stop for 10 consecutive hours, but... Uh, since I stopped for 3 hours before while they were loading me... Technically, I can get going after seven hours now, but then I wouldn't be legal to drive in Canada because for, for Canada, I have to stop for a minimum eight hours. You follow? So if I stop for eight hours, it should give me enough time to get to the border. Only half an hour from the border. We'll figure that out in the morning. Either way, I don't think I can get both deliveries done tomorrow. So I got to go all the way up to Brandon, which is about three hours from where I am now. And then they got to unload half this trailer. That'll take a little bit of time because you got to delicately take it off. It's like a big giant game of Tetris. You got to take it off one piece at a time. Once that's done, then I have to run all the way up to Beauxager on the east side of the province, which would be probably about four hours back, three or four hours back. Do the same thing, get unloaded for the rest of it one piece at a time, and then go back to work. I don't think we're going to get that all done. So what'll probably happen is I'll get Brandon delivered tomorrow. We'll rush over to Beauxager, get there at night deliver that first thing in the morning that would be Friday and then once we're empty then go home so I'll be home uh, for supper on Friday for sure and then it's a long weekend Canada Day weekend so uh, we'll see what happens good night everybody take care out there drive safe be careful be vigilant keep your head up keep your head on a swivel people out here are crazy make sure you're not one of the crazy ones the less crazy people out here the better they just seem they seem to multiply though it's just there's always there's just they're everywhere. So you always got to drive defensively, park defensively. Be prepared. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.